Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The last of the top five leagues of Team of the Season is here today. Serie A Tots are dropping in FIFA 22 today. And I want to take a look at the leaked team of cards we're expecting to see. Talk about the SBC content that we think we might see today. The objective content, which seems like we're maybe missing a little bit of based off of the leaks. We'll talk about that. And of course, talk about the market. How these cards are going to come onto the market today. Are they going to be really expensive right away? Are they going to be really cheap? And just talk about the hype transitioning from League One to Serie A team of the season. There's also a lot of things going on with maybe the Belgian, the Super League. Tots cards still being in packs today, SBC fodder, and of course the awesome upgrade packs that we have had this week. It might be worth before the team drops today. If you want to have a chance at packing some Serie A cards, it might be worth stacking up some 81 plus player picks because those have been so good during this past week. They might be popping today in terms of giving out Serie A Tots cards. So we'll talk about all of that and more in today's video. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. Let's just start off by taking a look at this team once again. These are the cards that we're expecting to see today. And again, right? I feel like I've been pretty critical this week of Serie A team of the season. And I've said there's not a lot of hype with this or not as much hype. But we're coming off arguably the best cards of team of the season that we've seen yet in the game so far and we're kind of going to Serie A now with yes there's some hype here and yes there's some great cards but it does seem to be just a bit of a step down from League One but again I don't want to discredit this league at all and I don't want to discredit anybody that's hyped for Serie A because there's really some insane cards in here right Teo Hernandez, Tonali, Immobile, Dybala getting a card, Vlahovic, Rafael Leal, Brozovic looks insane. So it's really going to come down to, like we've been saying this week, some of those extra small things, maybe a work rate change, a skill move, weak foot upgrade. If they go all out with some of those today on the Serie A cards, like we've been saying all week, this team could actually be really good. And I think that this team is going to end up being really cheap on the market. Maybe not today. They might start off a bit expensive, but I think that these cards being really cheap will make people want to go out and try them. And I think that's going to be the nature of this team. Maybe as we get into like Saturday, Sunday, Monday time frame. Today though, I think they might start off a little bit expensive because I just don't know how they're going to get supplied a lot today. As these cards come onto the market today, of course, we are not expecting a token pack. If you guys remember for La Liga team of the season, they dropped that uh, the, the, the swaps token pack in the store. Um, and that provided a ton of supply. I, you know, I don't think we're getting that token pack today. I'd be a bit surprised if we are. Um, if it does drop, that would mean a lot of supply early on. There's not a people that have saved up packs, though, for today's promo either, right? Most of the saved up packs have been opened by now, um, especially in the first couple weeks, like during Community and Prem Tots. So... Any supply today that would come right away would probably just be from an unexpected token pack or a preview pack. And the, the likelihood of those things coming today seems pretty low. That's why I think that these cards are going to start off pretty expensive. Of course, they're going to run lightning rounds. And we do have those uh, Serie A league specific lightning round packs that will probably come into the game and be in the store later on today on Friday. But I think the way that it looks, these cards are probably going to start off a bit expensive and then be dropping off after the first few hours. So I wouldn't be looking to buy any of these cards right away uh, today. Now, let me talk about those lightning rounds really quick because this is something that we've seen in the past couple of weeks. And we have the packs added to the code once again, just to show you some of these packs that are in. We have the foundation packs, which we actually didn't see last week for League One. Kind of interesting. We've got an 84 plus star Serie A pack. We've got a Serie A half pack. We've got a 1080 plus Serie A players pack that's probably going to be involved in some sort of objective or um, SBC later on this next week. We also have an 80 plus times two Serie A pack similar to the League 175 plus. Then moving on, uh, we've got some of the reward packs that are in here. This one's a bit interesting though. 83 plus team of the week slash tots player pack. I don't know if that's going to be an SBC or an objective type pack, but that's a really an interesting pack because an 83 plus team of the week, like that could be a card that was, that's been released all year long, but then also a tots included in that. That's like from the last couple of weeks in team of the season. So I'm curious to see how this pack comes out in the game. Um, that would be one that would be very interesting to see. So, of course, these are all the other Serie A packs that have been added. But the ones that we would uh, expect to really impact these card prices later on today would be the Serie A half pack and the 84 plus star 
Serie A players pack. That's 100% going to be a lightning round later on tonight on Friday. So if you're going to try any of these cards out when they drop today, you know, be pretty careful with those because just like we even saw last week with Lee Gun, some of these cards got like Paqueta on Friday night heading into Saturday was like 1.2 million coins. He went up to like 1.35. Ben Yedder went down to 2 mil. He went back up to 2.3. So watch out for that pack coming late tonight on Friday. That's one thing. It usually drops and prices get really low around like, you know, 11, 12 p.m. Uh, or sorry, like 11 p.m., 12 a.m. UK time. If you're up that late, you'll see some low prices in the evening on these cards most likely. So that's kind of how I expect these cards to react on the market today. What other content should we see? Well, it's actually pretty interesting. We had this Pellegrini that was leaked to be an objective. And now Foot Sheriff is saying that he's going to be our SBC for today. And it's weird because we're used to seeing a flashback SBC be the content released on a Friday. Every single Friday for the past five weeks, we have had a flashback player SBC, of course. You know, last week we had the Verati, we had the Isco, you know, the Delhi, um, and the Vitzel. So it seems like we should be getting a flashback today, but it honestly sounds like this Pellegrini is now going to be our SBC. It's the only one that we really have leaked right now, along with Kessie. Um, it's either of those today probably is our SBC unless EA have something else that they want to change and throw out there. And then our objective player is Lopez and their only one objective right now as well, which I think seems a bit slim. So yes, this card does have some nice links, but I think the stats are basically way behind the curve. That's a card that would be usable in like February by the standards of where we are at now in the game. So it seems like based off of the leaks and again, this is just off of the leaks. It's not, of course, the guaranteed content that we're going to see today. EA could, of course, have some curveballs and some other stuff planned that we don't know about yet. And honestly, that's what I'm hoping for with this TOTS content for today. But we have how many objective players right now? We have four players. Yes, four players, TOTS items or TOTS moments items that are available in objectives at the moment. Dante and Ajorke are going away with League One ending today. You've got Maxim and Hote that are still going to be here. Um, so maybe that's why there's only going to be one other objective card today. There's also a leaked objective for an MLS player coming out on Sunday with the other secondary league tots. So maybe they're going to slow it down a bit with objectives because I feel like last week was such an objective heavy week, especially if you take a look at like where the swap tokens were. I mean, all like there were so many tokens available and you had to grind objectives to get the swap tokens last week with like four players being in here it was kind of crazy and there weren't as many sbcs so maybe this week what they're going to do is push the focus a bit back more on the sbcs just to kind of switch that around a little more i don't know i'm just kind of you know speaking out a little bit and just thinking critically i guess of what they could do to change today but i really think today's content is going to rely on the skill move and the weak foot upgrades that they put on some of these Serie A tots cards and the SBC content, right? We've been talking all week. We have great ideas, all right? We, we had great ideas for um, La Liga Tots as well as some flashback SBCs that EA could do. You know, we talked about that end of an era Aguero. We talked about like a, a flashback Eden Hazard or a card like that. And right now we're talking about a potential flashback Zlatan, right? There's no leagues for that. It's just, we have great aspirations of what content could be released is EA going to actually go out and, and release some good content um, on this week of Serie A Tots? We hope so. Uh, and maybe they'll surprise us today, like I'm saying. But I really feel like the cards and packs with the skill move weak foot upgrades, because if they have those, people will want to go out and try them today. Or if the SBC player is really good, people will want to go out and do the SBC. But if those two places are kind of lacking today, on the, the game for Serie A Tots, really, I feel like it's going to be kind of a dead Friday for content, which is possible. We've had plenty of those this year as well. Um, and what would happen in that case, right? Let's say the content today is just kind of average. You're like, Nate, these League One cards, they just keep rising. They have to be almost too high, right? Well, yes and also no, because if nothing really that good comes out today, these cards are still the ones that are the most hyped right now at the moment. And uh, yes, the new Serie A Tots cards coming out today would be a little bit cheap. Um, but I think that some of your League One Tots cards that are leaving packs today could potentially go up further in price if the cards that come out today are not that hype, right? I mean, yes, they could be cheap. But if you're going to change up your team, you're going to have to do it pretty drastically for Serie A, like we've mentioned, with the links not being that 
plug and playable into most people's teams with a lot of people running French or Brazil with some League One, some strong links. Syria, the nations are all over the place. You don't have a lot of just French or Brazil players like you did with League One to link a lot of players together. So it's harder to do that, right? That's why I really feel like the player that gets released today, the weak foot skill move and attacking or defending work rate changes are really going to be key. Uh, for the market today. Now, one thing I'll say is this, and this is kind of early thinking way ahead towards Ultimate Tots a week from today. We're going to start talking a lot about Ultimate Tots this weekend, especially if the content's not that good because people are going to start to prepare even earlier in that case. If you see a pretty big market rise this weekend, and I'm talking like tonight on Friday night, maybe even tomorrow on Saturday, I think that would be an opportunity for some of the cards that we expect to see in ultimate team of the season or would potentially have a chance at getting an ultimate tots we're talking guys like mbappe neymar ben Yedder. you know i don't know who they're going to put into ultimate tots this year and that's what we're really going to start to dive into later on this weekend because some cards that we expect to get in like a benzema like a Vinny, maybe even like a modric or a pedri you know they're not going to release 30 cards into packs for ultimate tots it's probably going to be a team of 15 to 20 players but what i'm saying in general is I think that this weekend might be a general time frame where some of these cards that have dropped off last week um, rise up a little bit this week into the weekend. Like Pedri was 1-3 lows and now he's 1.43. Yeah, he was last week 1-3-5 on like Tuesday, Wednesday when everybody was doing upgrade packs. We've seen the market bounce back a little bit. I think it could continue to bounce back if the content's not that hot this weekend. And I think that could create a great opportunity to maybe cash out on a few of those high rated cards that people would expect to be in the ultimate tot. So I'm just kind of putting the bug in here about that because we're going to talk a lot more about that this weekend. Um, if the content is a bit quieter because probably people are going to start to prepare and sell off some of those cards uh, here pretty soon, even though we don't know what cards are going to be in ultimate tots. We're going to start to see people prepare for that because they're going to assume that a Mane or a Ronaldo or a Salah is going to get in. If they have those players, they know that ultimate tots is really going to affect the market a lot. So we're probably going to spend some more time talking about that here in the next coming days for sure. But I think we have to wait to think about that until we see the tots team today and just to see how... EA boost things up and how EA until we get a sense of how Syria Tots is maybe going to go after today's content on the game. So that's kind of my thoughts with stuff. Again, if you want to buy a League One Tots card for your weekend league team, you know, a guy like Chalmany, Paqueta, Payet, Marquinhos, a lot of these card prices are, of course, up from where they were on the weekend or even earlier in the week. You know, Marquinhos was like 740K on Monday, and, and now he's 830, right? So these cards could go up a little bit more today just because they're hype. Again, people are going to be doing last-second upgrade packs and player picks uh, today on Friday as well, which actually might be a play, right? Like, I've got a duplicate Di Maria that I have to somehow figure out to put in a squad uh, in some sort of SBC today. And then I'm going to probably do a last-minute send for some upgrade packs to try to pack one of the big three you know, Messi, Mbappe, Neymar. Well, I already have Messi uh, team of the year, but in especially in Mbappe or Neymar or Marquinhos or Chamani, like one of those guys. Um, but what's really nice about doing some of those upgrade packs today, if you're still going, is the 81 plus player pick. And this is one thing I'm gonna talk about is it's gonna be a great opportunity today to stock up on 81 plus player picks um, and save these because these have been giving out so well over the past couple days they've been out. I think it would be a great idea today, even if you're not super hyped for Serie A team of the season, even if you're doing some last upgrade packs for League Gun, it might be a great opportunity to go out and just do one, two, maybe five to 10, maybe even 30 or 40 of these, depending on how many coins you have and how much time you want to put in uh, to these packs, because I think it would create a great opportunity to maybe even make Serie A tots a little bit more hype for yourself if you're not feeling very hype for today is, you know, maybe you're, you're finishing out League One strong, but you want to do a couple player picks today. Whether you want to open them today for Serie A or save them for Ultimate Tots, that's kind of up to you. The pack weight on these is still so good. I mean, me just getting one random one here, getting an 85 at Bombing. You see the Tots counters up to 112. No, I didn't pack anybody else insane. We just keep packing so many Lafonts and Terriers. But really, what's that that has enabled me to do this week 
is get so many SBCs done and get so much fodder. So I feel like my the time that I've spent crafting upgrade packs and the coins that I've put in, I've gotten so much more back because of how the pack weight has been. So take advantage of those 81 pluses today. I think that's going to be uh, something you could take advantage of if you want to. Now, also with the other leagues that are in packs still, because today on Friday, we are still going to have the Belgian League. So guys like Undav, the Catalera, Vanaken, and we have the Super League with Balotelli and those guys. Um, you're probably going to see a bit more. Oh my gosh. Undav is down bad. Wow. Look at this panic. 465. He's down 100,000 coins from where he was yesterday. But honestly, this is just panic selling. And we, we see this every Thursday night uh, or ha Friday morning, honestly, because these guys are still in packs today. Um, you know, Undav is, pr you know, pretty hyped for his card. A lot of people still want to try him out because his stats look super good. Now, both of these teams go out of packs on Sunday. It's on Sunday, when, June 5th, when all of these cards go out of packs. So they are going to get supplied a bit more today. So specifically for Balotelli, Hamshik, um, Vishka, and then for the Pro League team, Undav, the Ketelera and Vanakin. Wow, 70K and 74K. Crazy cheap. You know, keep keep an eye on these cards because they are going to have some panic selling. Like we see, Undav was, he was literally 550, 560 yesterday, and he's been dropping off for the past couple of hours. These guys are rare. Uh, yes, they're going to get packed, but there will be some bounce back and some times of rebound on them today as well. So if you want to trade with them, I think that's going to be a great opportunity on the market today. Just remember, like Taliska, right? Taliska was panic sold so much, but then he rebounded back just because he was he was rare. People wanted to use him and they wanted to try him out. So watch those cards today as they do go out of packs on Sunday, but there's going to be some fluctuation with them as they are in packs and going to be panic sold because people know that. And also SBC fodder is a place right now where um, it's starting to drop. 86 is 9,000 coins. 85 is getting towards that 5K range again. 84 is in the low threes. Where's like 89s or 90s? Kane is 28K. So your fodder is starting to creep back down there again as people are selling the last of their investments and the demand is kind of tailing off because people know that, okay, uh, today and this weekend is going to be supply. And that means that these cards are going to drop. So again, today, tomorrow, Sunday, watch the fodder market once again, especially as we head into Sunday, because there is a small bit of potential that we will finally see an icon moments player pick upgrade SBC. That would be huge for fodder. And I think so many people would want that. You know, I think even this last week, people wanted a repeatable icon upgrade SBC. That would have been so helpful with the, the insane upgrade packs that were out. But EA has been just milking the upgrade packs for so long. It's time for the player pick. And I think people are going to have that on their mind. So fodder is definitely going to be a watch. It did really, really well this last week. I think it could do well this week too. Um, even heading into ultimate team of the season. But this stuff is probably going to be dropping like it usually does in the weekends. So that's going to be a place of the market where you will probably want to be out of. But you'll definitely want to be watching it um, as we head through this weekend as well. And honestly, guys, that's just that's the game today, right? Of course, we got foot champs. I wonder if the demand for foot champs is going to drop off a little bit today because, again, people are going to see the cards that they're playing for. Um, and, you know, the Rafael Leal, there's, there's a lot of great potential, once again, with this side that is dropping today in the game with with this Syria team of the season. There are great cards in here. Again, I don't want to sit here and just tell you that today is not a hype day. The fact that Dybala is getting a Tots card, whether you think it's deserved or not, you know, he's getting a Tots card. Berardi looks pretty freaking sick. And Mobley is going to be good. Vlahovic is going to be good. Leao is probably one of the most like unknowns. Like his card looks good. But also, like, he's the highest rated guy in the squad. That's crazy. Brozovic looks insane. Again, Serie A, this entire year of FIFA, has been overlooked. But it's created some great opportunities for really good cards at a really cheap price. Since the beginning of the game this year, Serie A cards have been dirt cheap. Um, and, you know, they're good cards. And people kind of overlook them because it's not French. It's not Brazil. Not all them have five-star skills. So, there's that, but I think there's going to be a lot of great cards today. And taking a look at Serie A special cards really quick too. I know we looked at Dybala today, but just talking through, you know, a few more of these. The, the Dybala situation today, you know, it's really going to depend on how much his Tots card is. If I'm being honest, I really don't see, once the dust settles on the Tots cards today for Serie A, I really only see two cards max, two to three cards max that are going to be 
over a million coins. I think Dybala, if he gets an insane upgrade on a skill move, weak foot, if he gets that high attacking work rate as well, if he's like five star skills, four star weak foot on his Tots card today, then I think he'd be probably like 1.3, 1.4, maybe even 1.5 mil. I think Rafael Leal could be up there as well. And then Tonali and Teo Hernandez are going to be like the next most expensive cards uh, in this Tots team today. That's why I think the team itself is going to be relatively cheap. You know, so that's, you're going to have to watch out for that today with um, your Serie A special cards. You know, I do think there's guys like Cordoba and Di Natale. You know, if if uh, the most expensive card today in Serie A Tots is Dybala at like 1.5 mil, then this Di Natale is going to be the most expensive card still in the Serie A. He's like 1.7, 1.8 mil for a card that's probably going to have semi-similar, if not maybe even a little bit worse stats than Dybala. And he's got the five-star skills and the four-star weak foot. So just watch out for your guys like Di Natale, Cordoba, because like we talked about this week as well, the Serie A special cards this year have always done fantastic when there's hype. Um, the out of packs ones, just because there's not super, not a crazy amount of ways to link Serie A cards. Like this Cordoba was under 500k a couple days ago, and now he's 650,000 coins in the hype of the team dropping today. So for some of the more rare cards, you know, even even though they're cheaper, some like the Alexandro who is 65k and now he's up to around like 80,000 coins. You know, I see Teo Hernandez is the only left back in the team right now, and he's expensive. And, you know, Sandro's got the Brazilian links. It's a lot of people have got Militao. A lot of people have Marquinhos. You know, we have Paquetas floating around. We do have a Brazilian in the team today, Bremer, as well. So this would be a strong link to that Bremer card. A lot of people did Dante. So Brazilian links are, are flying right now. And I think that helps the Sandro card out a, a little bit. So, you know, some of these cards are probably going to do pretty well today still. I think they could go up later tonight as people want to go out and make a Serie A team or two. But... Again, I'm also holding some of my League One Tots cards, like the new Minj that I bought at 100,000 coins. I'm still holding these because I feel like that if the Tots car, uh, squad today, especially with the left back position being Teo Hernandez being very expensive, um, I think that some of these lower tier cards and you know just still the hype with League One Tots is going to continue and some of these cards could rise up a bit. So I'm hoping that new Minj goes up another 10,000 coins and that would make me like you know, another like 200,000 coins on, on the top of my investment that I made because I bought like, you know, a bunch of them. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for today. And I can see that all happening. Of course, we are going to be following it live on stream today. Twitch.tv slash the foot account. That link that is down below in the description. As always, we're going to be on during the content drop. We're going to see the cards, watch their prices, open up my two Serie A saved packs, open up some player picks, and uh, it'll just be a chill day. Hopefully, it's a fun one. Hopefully, EA drops some fire content and maybe even surprise us a little bit with some Serie A content uh, that we maybe were not expecting. So, that's going to be the video for today. If you're excited for Serie A Tots, once again, hit the thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.